This video is probably sponsored by Ambit4. What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Copy Shot. In today's video, we're going to look at how I set up an interview session with all the lights that I could have access to with the space as well as the microphone. But before I get into anything having to do with this voiceover, let's check out how the set was put together in real time. We have a different setup from last time, what I explained. And of course, we have yet another model with a different look. Okay, so what I've got going on here is that um, this is just a simple setup for an interview where we have a boom mic right in front of my model. Of course, my camera, the Black Magic Pocket is my camera 4K. And Ambitful sends me this light. I've done a video what it came with, the things that it offers and everything that you may get when you buy yourself the Ambitful light. It comes with this softbox and it came as well with yet another light which is in the background. I'm going to talk about that in a bit. But interestingly, we have a prop here. You've seen this in my previous video and I really love it and so I place it in yet again. And I have this practical light that is going to accentuate the light that is being motivated by the other light Ambitful. I'm going to leave a description to where you can get it. And um, that's to accentuate the light that's hitting this side of her head, of course. And also in that background, I have yet another light bouncing just right against the wall so that it doesn't make my background look boring, but it gives a little bit of a touch. And yeah, uh, that's just about that. That's about the setup. So let's get into the video where we record and see how we can frame the shots and make our model look so great. So yeah, let's get right into it. So with that said, let's look at the first important factor anytime I am shooting an interview and that's my lighting because that's what's going to illuminate and to help my audience see who I'm interviewing or who is actually in the shot before we move on to the camera angles as well as the sound. So as you may see, every light has a significance in there. I have my key light the light coming from the back, which is from either camera right or left, depending on where the camera was pointing. But for the most part, it was on the right because that's where I had my background character being built out of the accent light as well as the prop, which is the plant that you see there in the background. And also a light hitting the backdrop to not make it too dark or to not make it half character, but rather bring it out and have my subject skin tone really resonate with what's in the background. So for the most part, I use a three light setup and this is all that I did. Even though you may count the accent light, which is the table lamp that's back there in the background to give my background even much more character, you may count it as a fourth light, but because it doesn't really accentuate itself or influence the subject for the most part or the lightest potential as far as my subject is concerned, I may still consider this to be a three light setup. So the key light is from Ambitful, shooting through a softbox also from Ambitful and I've spoken about the lights that I got from Ambitful even in a video over here on my YouTube channel. So check it out if you haven't, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. And also the light that is concentrating so much character to the plant, which is a prop in the setup, that is coming from behind and carving my subject out of the background as the rim light is also from Ambitful. I'm going to talk about that in a later video on my channel. So the two lighters you see coming from the back, one from Ambitful and the other is a Yongno YN360 Mark III. And that's what is shooting against the backdrop. The backdrop that I chose was brown and so it helped a lot with the skin tone of my subject and it made the color grading process much easier because everything I did to the skin was also going to have similarities with the background and so it all went together seamlessly. Depending on where I pointed the camera, to give the illusion of multiple camera angles, even though I use just one camera, I would rotate or reposition the light from where it was coming from and always have my light either coming from the left or the right off camera and not directly pointing where the lens was pointing so I could have my character have a three-dimensional look out of the setup. So lighting done, let us talk about the camera angles that I chose. I decided to shoot multiple camera angles and because my studio space wasn't huge enough and my lighting capabilities or the potential from all the lights were not as bright as I may have it if I wanted to go very wide, 
I had to shoot quite closer to my subject and using an 18 to 35 mm 1.8 lens i needed to get my camera to as close to the subject so it might be for the most part not so comfortable for the subject because the camera is literally in her face i still had the interviewer or the assumed interviewer for that matter sitting a little bit off from behind the camera so that my interviewee will comfortably look off away from the distractions that was all around her which is the entire setup you get what i mean <laughs> depending on what lens you choose will determine the proximity of your camera to your subject so keep that in mind but for this particular tutorial i noticed that having my subject look a little bit away from the entire setup wouldn't make her feel bombarded with too much complexities but would feel at ease if she was actually looking into the face of whoever it was was interviewing her so it didn't make my setup totally difficult to work with but i still found a way to make her feel at ease so it's important that you make your subject feel at ease for the most part anytime you are working around with them even though you might have a lot of heat coming from your lights and you know your camera getting too close to her face but Having them not think about this as a shoot, but rather have the sense of talking to someone during a normal day will really make your work a lot easy. So I shot from the front towards the subject, still having the hair look away a little bit off the camera. Shot um, a side view, I shot a medium close up, and I shot an extreme close up as you can see on the screen. I scripted this interview to have it look like it was shot with multiple cameras from different angles at the same time, even though I use just one camera. And this art is executed best when you are able to really script out everything and to help you from the onset to determine where to position your camera next to what question and also. Alternatively, you can go through all the questions from start to finish for each camera angle and each shot size. It may sound like a whole lot of work, but trust me, it will make it look convincing and more. I use two audio recording devices. I would say three, but it was actually two because the boom pole that you see over the head of my subject was actually plugged into a digital audio recording device which can also serve as a third microphone but it was muted because i was feeding the boom mic directly into it so it was being the recording medium as well as a lapel mic that i directly plugged into my camera which sends its transmission wirelessly. And so I had two audio sources should the main audio source, which is my boom mic coming from above fails me. I can still have an alternative to go to. So always have second options or a plan B for your audio. Otherwise you may return with a lot of problems. Should one cut off, you are going to always have one to resort to or the other to resort to should you have any problems so the boom mic that i use was the rode ntg2 and the lapel that i used was the rode wireless go which worked perfectly well in fact for my instance i didn't have either microphones going bad or going wrong i got all audio captured perfectly well and so i had the liberty to choose which one sounded best or which one was easy to work with and that was basically that to always have a plan b as i said and you wouldn't find yourself wanting in terms of audio so this is basically how i use my space and how i put together entire setups talking about the lighting to the sound to even the space how i utilized it as well as the camera angles and how best i brought out my character out of the background and gave the background character upon all the complexities that it came with i still had my character comfortably talking back to the questions that were being asked of her so i hope this video helped if you have any question or if you have any reservation you can put it down in the comment section and also links to most of the gear that i use in this video is down in the description below so you can check it out and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it across all social media platforms that you belong to Turn on the post notification button if you haven't and always be notified anytime I upload a new video if you do that. And so, until the next video, I'm going to catch you later. Have a wonderful day. See ya.